Happy Saturday night, peeps. Yes, I'm back. Woo! After it's been, it's starting to get a little rough. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? We're all in this together. Most importantly, we take care of each other. We do what we can and stay home. Okay. Except for the people that can't. Shout out to all the hospital workers, supermarket people, uh, maintenance, uh, mail carriers. All those people, UPS drivers, everyone who is essential, mechanics, things like that, to keep things rolling. Okay, tonight's musical guest, I keep saying guest, introduction is Mike Barry. Excellent music, musician, singer, songwriter, awesome. Love him. Again, introduced to him at KJ Farrell's in Belmore on my Tuesday night original music night. Tonight's cocktail is going to be... Agent Orange, made with Agent Orange. One of my first times and really memorable times of getting not so good hammered was with Agent Orange. Goes back with Phil, God rest your soul. OBI South, you know, this is the thing about bartenders. Bartenders go see other bartenders and they think you're doing the, a favor when they pour you an extra heavy cocktail. Me personally, I want to be out. I want to enjoy. I don't want an extra heavy cocktail. I want to last more than half an hour. Especially because you all know me. I'm such a lightweight. Well, I was drinking Grand Marnier on the Rocks. It was a hot summer day. Um, I was inside in the air conditioning. Woo, looking all cool in my little white denim outfit with my little heels and being awesome. Awesome. I go outside after being in the air conditioning, drinking two Grand Marnier on the Rocks. Boom. Hot, humid. Ooh, not feeling so good. Went back inside, went into the bathroom, and proceeded to, you know, hug the porcelain throne for quite a few hours. Uh, needless to say, Jerry, the co check girl, came in and heard I was in there, checked on me. They carried me out to my car, woke up even hours later. I had a Cadillac that I bought from uh, a friend back in those days. Four door, huge thing. Went to sleep, woke up a couple more hours later, came in and said, Phil, please, I love you. Don't ever give me that cocktail ever again. Another time was another drink, but we'll save that for another time. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Allergies. <coughs> so, 11 things you didn't know about Grand Marnier. The Marnier family distillery has been family owned and operated since 16, oh, excuse me, 1827. The orange-flavored cognac liqueur was created by Alexander Monnier Lapostol, who learned how to distill from his father, a wine and spirit merchant. It can only be made in one place in the world, Cognac, France. Its original name, Curacao Monnier, didn't sit well with Caesar Ritz, owner of the famed Ritz Hotel in Paris. He recommended that he change it to Grand Monnier. There's a couple of different variations of this. In the Wikipedia, it says that he was the one, he came up with the idea of Grand Marnier for Marnier, who in turn helped him purchase and establish the Hotel Ritz Paris. A bottle of Grand Marnier was found in the wreckage of the Titanic. It's now in the Titanic Museum. The heart of Grand Marnier, Chateau Bourg Charente in Cognac, France, was built over the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries. A one-of-a-kind cuvee Grand Marnier was created for Queen Elizabeth II's Golden Jubilee. This formula served as the inspiration for Grand Marnier Quintessence, which sells for $800 a bottle. Ouchie! It takes 125 years minimum to grow the trees the brand uses to make the barrels for its cognac. Wow, that's interesting. The private collection of the Marnier family includes cognacs dating back to 1906, some of which Grand Marnier uses in its blend to make quintessence. The oranges Grand Marnier uses were originally introduced to the Caribbean by the earliest European explorers, a group that included Christopher Columbus. Grand Marnier was formulated in 1880 in Paris, nine years before the Eiffel Tower was built. One-Eyed Mike's, a bar in Baltimore, Maryland, created the only, world's only Grand Marnier club. A little bit of history for Charleston. Apparently, back in the day, um, the, we are one of the biggest, I think, the largest sellers of uh, or consumers of Grand Marnier here in Charleston, South Carolina. And the Grand Marnier people came to see and, you know, oh, check it out, this is great. And were appalled by the fact that people were doing it in shots and not drinking. He, he left disgusted. But that's just history or myth. Who knows? Anyway. So, for this cocktail, Agent Orange, 
We're going to need a one and a half ounces of vodka, three quarters ounce of Grand Marnier, a quarter ounce of Contro, or you can use triple sec, but I do like the Contro for this, half ounce of OJ, an orange twist, and shake over ice. And here we go again. I forgot a tool, but you know what? I'm going to wing it tonight. I'll use my trusty knife. So first we're going to take... I was smart enough to bring the glass over from the freezer. So I'm going to take my trusty shaker. I'm going to pour, I put ice in there, of course. Again, you have guests, you use tongs. It's me, myself, and the dogs, which are being very quiet right now because I gave them chewies to keep them quiet because the neighborhood kids are running around outside and they freak out just because they're jerks. If they, God forbid, somebody walks around in their own neighborhood. Anyway. So we're going to take this, we're going to, it calls for one and a half ounce of vodka. So, look, pour that in there. It says three quarters ounce of Grand Marnier, Grand Mama, Agent Orange. Here's this side, so I'm using the shorter side. Three quarters of an ounce. Boom, shakalaka laka. Then it says a quarter ounce of contre. Sugary top. Very sugary, this cocktail. But you know I like sugar. That was more like of a half. Now, I like my Tito's, but you can use whatever vodka you want. And like I said, in place of the contro, if you don't have the contro, you, have, you can use triple sec. It's kind of not as orangey, but it's okay. And then it says a half ounce of orange juice. I'm putting a little more OG in because I'm a lightweight. Now we're going to put that in that. My trusty little shaker. This is the greatest little shaker. They're perfect size for martinis, Cosmos, which we'll get to in another episode. Shake it, shake Listen to Mike Berry in the background. You want it to get really super frosty. My favorite glass, cocktail glass, old school, sexy. All right. Now I'm supposed to take an orange twist And instead of using my trusty pota uh, potato peeler, I actually have to use it. So this is what I do. I just peel the orange off the rim, twist it over the glass. And then you want, anytime you're using a twist, you rim the rim of the glass, you rim the rim of the glass, the edge of the glass, so the oils from that get into the cocktail. So now, you know what? I'm going to give it one more shake because I like to. Take my little top off. And here we go. It's a pretty color. Sunshine. All right, peeps. Cheers. Happy Saturday. Wow. Wow. Little boozy, but that's delicious. Very sunshiny. I might actually finish this cocktail. Oh, I just got a flashback from the Grand Marnier. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I won't finish the cocktail. Mm. It's good. Okay. Now, don't forget, tonight's musical introduction was Mike, Mike Berry. And not to be, you know, but... With everything that's going on, understandably, if no one can afford it, it's fine. I get we're all in the same boat. Tips are not necessary, but greatly appreciated. You can Venmo me at JennySan629. Also, all the jewelry, everything that I'm wearing today, my silk lariat, my bracelet, six-strand bracelets, are made by me. And you can check out my website, my shop on Etsy, uh, my Etsy shop. And it's sunlit and happy, all one word, on Etsy, at Etsy.com. By the way, everything on my shop during this quarantine is 20% off. Enter quarantine in the coupon box. There you go. Free shipping on orders of $35 or more. 
Love you guys. I miss everybody. I can't wait for this thing to be over. I'm going to be ecstatic hugging everybody. No one's going to want to be near me because I'm going to be the hugmeister. Okay, again, happy, happy, joy, joy. And don't forget, there's a lot of kind people in the world. And as if you can't find one, you be that one. Love you all. Tomorrow, Bloody Marys. Bye.